Hello Healthinistas and welcome to my channel 50 something. This channel is for the overall well-being of people 50 and older. But don't worry, if you're in your teens, 20s, 30s and 40s, you can still apply a lot of the content. Today, I'm collaborating again with my daughter. Her channel is That's Tiff. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You already know what's good. Ah, it's always literally lit. So today I am collaborating with my, with my mother once again. Her name is 50 something original. Follow her. Um, subscribe. Today I'm going to be showing my mom some slang and seeing if she knows what it is. Are you ready, Madre? Yeah, um, I don't know, but let's go. Let me see. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Do you know what ship means? Yeah. A ship is a really large, like, you know, boat that you can put people on and transport them. You know, like a cruise ship. Okay. All right. Maybe I should use it in a sentence for you. Yeah. Okay. Go, Go ahead. ahead. For instance, I ship you and Padre. What? You ship people? What is this? Isn't that slavery days? You know, shipping? What does that mean? When somebody says like, oh, I ship so-and-so, that means they like their relationship. They they want them to be together. Like, You're kidding. Right. Like, I'm serious. Okay. Give me another one. Okay, well, she failed. So she has zero out of ten points. You know, I didn't even know we were keeping well, track. It, right points. now. Right now, we're keeping points. Okay. So right here, zero out of ten. Do you know what sus means? Sus? Mm -hmm. Spell it. Use it in a sentence? Yeah, use it in a sentence. How, first, spell it. Sus, S U S. And the sentence is. Yeah, girl, I saw him looking at her. That was kind of sus. Huh? Sus? Mm hmm. That was messed up. Not really. What does that mean? Like suspect. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you people can't speak English. We can. Y'all just they kind of. Huh, where did you get that and from? Kept. What do you mean? Twenty seventeen. We when we said stuff, it made sense, like cool and. All right, give me another one. Okay, so she still at zero out of ten. Okay, do you know what boom gang whole lot of gang ish is? Huh? Boom gang whole lot of gang ish. That people are kind of uncouth. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck does that mean? Well, there's there's this guy basically he steals stuff and he records himself when he goes like boom gang, hold on the gang, beep, boom gang, boom gang, and he's like you know like you're stealing something and it's like I don't know it's like you steal something and you run. Well, then I I was right. That's uncouth. Give me another one. You who steals steal stuff and puts it on video? That's ridiculous. Do you, do you want that point? Yeah, I get the point. I guess you get that's uncool. One out of ten. Okay, so this thing is, girl, she snatched my edges, or girl, that snatched my wig. What does snatch my edges or snatch my wig mean? Somebody pulled your hair off. <laughs> Not literally. Um, snatch my edges. Oh, maybe they did something that swept you off your feet. Okay, we can give that to her. We can give that that word. I got it. Yes, my name. Yes, yes. So two out of ten, we're getting there. Okay, number five. What does goat mean? You mean like what we get goat milk and the goat, the animal, the goat? Can we use it in a sentence? Yeah. Oh, if somebody's a goat, that means they're a bad person, right? No. No? No. What does that mean? When somebody's a goat, they're the greatest of all time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> a goat? Yeah. Mm mm. That makes no kind of sense. That is not what we would use it for. It's not as a goat. He's not the greatest of all time. Wow. Okay, give me another one. Oh my goodness. Okay. What does JOMO or FOMO mean? Okay, now you need to speak English. 
I am. Jomo, it, FOMO. It, it, it's like, what language is that? It's like an acronym. Jomo, FOMO? Mm -hmm. Jomo is one word and FOMO is a different word. But they kind of go together in a sense. I have no idea. Who even uses that? People do. People, people use this. Jomo, FOMO. Mm -hmm. Jomo, FOMO. I have no clue. I have no clue. I can't even make it up. If you have to I guess. Can, I can't even guess. Joe Mo. Like Mo is more. Like Mo money, Mo money, Mo money. So Joe Mo. So Joe, like cup of Joe is like coffee. So more coffee, Joe Mo. And then Fo, Mo, maybe more friends. No. <laughs> You don't have to scream it. <laughs> Sheesh. Jomo is the joy of missing out. Like, say you, your girl's like, girl, come hang with me. You're like, I don't want to do it. You said on Snapchat that the club got shot up that night. You're like, oh, I got Jomo. I'm glad I didn't go. FOMO is like, ooh, I wish I went to that party because it was popping. Fear of missing out. Yes. Yeah. You're insane. Millennials, y'all <laughs> are insane. So she didn't I don't get, even speak that language. All right. Let's see. She didn't get that one. Give me another one. But okay. Um, what does OTP mean? On time, posse. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. What? On time, posse. So I'm going to be like, yeah, girl. I'm on time, posse. I mean, who's going to say that? Well, you guys say FOMO JOMO, so... Oh my goodness. Fix <laughs> it, Jesus. No, OTP means on the phone. Like, if we're texting somebody, like, girl, I'm, I'm OTP right now. I'll call you later. We just say we're on the phone. So you, you text out the whole thing? Yeah, I'm on the phone. No, we can pray on it. All right, give me another one. OTP. Sounds like some medical condition. What does snatched mean? When people snatch people's wigs off, they got snatched. No. Would you want a sentence? Yes. Say you see a. You I feel like I'm in a spelling bee. You know when the kids ask, they ask them the 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 word, and then the child says, "Could you use it in a sentence?" That's how I feel right now. Okay, use it in a sentence. Snatch. Is that Barbara over there? Girl, she looks snatched. Yes, come through. End quote. She looks pretty. I guess in a sense. I guess in a sense. Like, you know, everything's put together, you know. And that's called snatch? Like, wait, snatch. Okay, but the word snatch, the... The translation of the word snatch is like you take stuff off. It's snatched off. How is the person put together? The opposite also means snatch. Okay, I'm not going to be using that. I'm not going to use any of these because I'm going to look ridiculous. Anyway, give me the, the next one. So I guess we can give her that point. I guess. <clears throat> what does L B V S mean. Let's both. Very satisfied. Let's both be very satisfied. There's no B in there's there. No extra. <laughs> <laughs> Who says? Hey, well, let's both be very satisfied. <laughs> Come on out. <laughs> I have no idea. What is that? Oh, look who it is. It's my daughter. She has her own channel called All About Mindy. It's in the description box down below. Go to Scott. And he just threw her down like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I let her down. Anyways. Focus. L-B-S-T. Me. Basically, my name. L-B-V-S. Means laughing, but very serious. Like you're laughing at it, but you're still serious about it. That's what I mean. You can't be both laughing and be serious. That's an oxymoron. You people know what an oxymoron is? You can't. It's like bittersweet. You can't have the opposite. You know, it doesn't work together. 
what is it? Laughing but very serious. Yeah. Laughing but very serious. Makes no sense. L L B V S. Who's gonna remember that? A lot of people. And sometimes they do L B V V S, like laughing but very very serious. Like it's very serious, but you're laughing. We're not that lazy. We can type it out. And besides, we wouldn't even use that phrase, laughing but very serious. Whatever. Anyway, what's the last one? And the last one is dub. Oh, give me some dub. <laughs> what was that? Dub. <laughs> okay, um, that's not it. <laughs> Sheesh, that is not it. Dub is when somebody curves you. What's a curve? Like your shape. Why do you look all crazy? Curved. Okay, it's like if somebody's like, if, if I'm like, hey, hey, my, what, what's your number? And you're like, ah, I ain't with it. And you turn them down. Mm -hmm. It's like you just you just dubbed somebody. But if you're calling somebody a dub, you're calling them like a scrub, basically, a lane. A scrub, like the escape song. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they're back together. I heard. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. None of these make any sense. Anyway, we speak English. My generation, we speak English. I'm a baby boomer. We speak English. Um, okay. Well, they might speak English, but not slang, because as you can see by her, <laughs> by her, uh, her points, it, it's a no. But okay. <laughs> she tried. She tried. I didn't try. I didn't want to try. Because LDGS, TVS. OPT, like, OTP, OTP. Oh, whatever. It's like it's like medical diseases, you know, <laughs> acronyms for medical things. It just makes no sense. Anyway, my people, the normal people mm -hmm. that speak regular English, Ooh. doing something. Remember, doing something is better. Take care of yourself and get some cardio in this week. And for my people, disregard what she says. We speak English and we speak slang. But y'all already know what the deal is. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to me as well. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you don't miss anything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you had your chance to say that. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. But like I was saying, bro, I was really interrupted. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in that next video. And tell us. In the comments below, what is your favorite slang word that we use today? But don't forget, get your shoulder ready and give me this hug.